My name is Eddie Toffey. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here's your daily technical analysis of Stock Index Futures. I'll start with UK FTSE Futures. An indecisive spinning top pattern yesterday, but it can also be seen as a bearish meeting lines pattern. I say bearish as traditionally is seen as bearish, however data suggests that it tends to be ever so marginally bullish. So it'll be interesting to see if the market follows tradition or the data. It was nevertheless an indecisive spinning top that started out the day as a follow on higher to the previous sessions counter to the counter bullish harami. It just happened that the market developed a long tongue on top as a result. The market was trying to reach up to the high of last week at 70.01 and a half but was not able to make it that time. Overall it was a continuation of the move along the top side of the upper trend line currently 69.07 of the January to date broken rising wedge pattern. This supports the current move higher as being a true break over the rising wedge. It also brings the market closer to the overhead targets for the recent bullish patterns. These are target X in the 7010 area is the target for the January to March sideways triangle. Target X1 in the 7095 area is the initial target for the late January early April rising wedge pattern and target X2 in the 7115 area that's the full target for the rising wedge pattern. So far today hesitation again but a deeper move lower into the January high at 69.10 and the upper trend line of the rising wedge pattern as well, though it has seemingly been rebuffed until now. It's looking very much like an indecisive doji cross right now. German DAX futures. A large bearish engulfing pattern yesterday. Large question mark. Well, large given the previous actions of this week. What was more interesting was that it was also a break lower out of what must now be, at least initially, sort of the diamond top pattern formed over the, from the recent week's actions. I laid the question out yesterday as to whether this was to be a bullish continuation diamond, uh, pattern, diamond pattern or a bearish diamond top pattern. At the time, I could not tell which it was nor if we would have false breaks first. However, if we make the assumption that this is a genuine diamond top for the moment, then they could give an idea of the size of the move should it happen once it is confirmed. The move would be in the order of 450 points from the break of the relevant trend line. So in this case, it would be a move potentially down to the 14,800 area. I've placed the provisional di uh, target X there on the daily chart. I'll just let that sink in for a moment. Below we have the rising two points uptrend from very late April, October 2020, currently at 14,860. So far today, indecision. A little higher, but indecision nevertheless. I suspect the market is concerned that yesterday's move lower may be a false break. US E-mini S&P futures. Key reversal up yesterday and another new all-time high. However, it wasn't the hardest thing to achieve as the previous two sessions were indecisive spinning tops that were quite close by to each other. It was also not the largest of ranges to make a key reversal up with. It suffers, as all the actions since November last year have, of narrow ranges something that is not best suited to the tops of markets. Interestingly, the close, yet another new high close, was barely over the second of the two important projected Fibonacci lines. The first was the projected 50% Fibonacci line at 41.83. The second was the projected 100% Fibonacci line at 42.02. Now the market closed at 42.03. Seems the rising support of the middle time, currently at 41.84 of the December 2020 to early February 2021 bullish Andrews pitchfork, was enough to eventually overcome these projected Fibonacci levels. 
As a guide, this pitchfork has shown the bullish angle of attack since February. The recent narrowing of ranges and squashing of markets between supports and resistances is usually indicative of a possible big move once it stops. We'll have to see if this is true this time. So far today, a lower open below the projected 100% Fibonacci line and a straight move lower. Down through the projected 50% Fibonacci line and interestingly the middle time at this time, though it's still not that big a move as yet. French CAC 40 futures. The complex action yesterday was on the surface a higher, indeed a new all-time high. Yet at the same time, it was still an indecisive spinning top, if looked at on its own. If that wasn't complex enough, if taken in conjunction with the previous session's pattern, it was also a bearish meeting lines pattern. I say bearish as traditionally these patterns are seen as bearish, however data suggests they are ever so slightly bullish in nature. It would be interesting to see whether the market follows tradition or the data. In this regard, the move higher was generated from energy and ammunition derived from the important lower time, currently 62.22, of December 2020 to January 2021 bullish Andrews pitchfork, and its nearby partner, the short moving average, currently at 6200, as well as the prior all time high from July 2007 at 61.69. Please note this bullish pitchfork has up till now brilliantly driven the bullish incentive higher since its inception in late January. And as I've said for the last six weeks, and I quote yet again, all is moot until prices move out of these times, those times. So far today, a lower open and a dip down to test the lower time. Not the sort of thing one would expect immediately after making a new high. Right now it's looking like an indecisive doji cross Thank you for listening. This short version of broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit.